hello my lovelies this is your girl angel from simply angel tia in this video we're working on this bikini cover dress it's a long one that goes all the way to your ankles it has a slit on both sides so as you will see here you have the slit on both sides here and it's a long one that goes all the way like this and then it has these straps that will be able to help you tie it up like this okay so this is a very very simple one i've been getting a lot of requests to make um summer stuff bikini covers and things like that um so this is kind of going along with that request uh you don't have to make this to be this length uh you can make it as a short one uh but for the sake of this tutorial obviously we're going to make it a long one like this okay now you can obviously do this with any colors of your choice this yarn here is cotton so i'm going to start making summer things in cotton because with acrylic summer gets really hot and it may not be a very appropriate uh type of material to wear when the sun is beaming on you uh, but for uh, but for things like covers like this, it's probably best to make it in cotton yarn or just a, a, a yarn uh, that is not very hot in the summer, that doesn't take too much heat in the summer, okay? So this is what we're going to be working on. Go ahead and get your materials and let's go ahead and get okay, started. my lovelies. So before we get started with this project, I'm going to show you all the materials that we need for it. And as you can see here, I have my yarn. I have this 100% uh, cotton yarn from a uh, hobby. It's called We Heart Yarn. I got this in a pack of 10 and they're about 50 grams each. Like I said, again, it's 100% cotton. It is a super lightweight number one, as you can see here. So which mean color uh, here is 26, but I just called this gray um, and recommended hook size is two and a half to three and a half millimeter crochet hook and or US C, e, uh, uh, C2 to E4, okay? So this is the yarn that I'm choosing to use. You can obviously use any yarn of your choice, uh, but I'm doing mine with a very super light one. For a crochet hook size, I'm using the maximum recommended, which is the three and a half millimeter crochet hook. I have my scissors here. I have my tape measure, some stitch markers, as well as a darning needle. Okay. Lo lo Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so before we get started with this, I'm just going to quickly talk about sizes uh, for this uh, dress. So as you can see, the uh, this is a very thin yarn, and so it's going to be very see-through, and also the pattern is very see-through. So we're making this so you can wear something inside of it, and of course, you can. it's more meant as a bikini cover, okay? Now, when you want to establish your size, first of all, the length, we're going to be working from the bottom of the dress all the way up. So we're starting from the bottom and working our way up. And to do that, we need to do two panels. And the two panels are going to be identical. The back panel and the front panel are going to be exactly identical. And so to do that, we're going to measure the widest part of our hips. So let's say you have your tape measure. I'm going to use my size, which is a small. The widest part of my hip come up to about 38. If I don't stretch, in some cases, if I stretch it, if material is very stretchy, then I will uh, work my material and stretch it to get to my 38. But if, for example, I'm using cotton, which is what I'm using here, it's not quite often very, very stretchy. So I will actually work the whole thing to be these 38 inches. So which means if there's a little bit of a stretch to it, it's going to make it nice and comfortable for me to wear. So with that said, I'm going to make a length that is half of this 38. Okay. So if you take your 38 and you cut it in half, you're looking at about 18, um, 19 uh, inches of one panel so my first panel have to have this length to it this 19 inches length to it okay and you can of course give and take a couple of inches here and there now with that explained because we're going to do exactly two panels so we're going to do two 19 inches panels and then those two will make our full panel when we uh, when we look at the circumference of the widest part of our hips now i'm going to talk a little bit about my size here because i'm only going to show you guys a sample just to make the video not too long I'm going to do a sample of 20, uh, 20 uh, chains, beginning chains or like foundation chains. So if I do my 20 chains here, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay. So I'm doing a chain of 20 here as a sample, but for my actual work, I did a chain of 80, okay? So 80 chains to get my 19 inches for one panel. 
and then after i did my 80 i added two more so one two to be my turning chains okay and so i hold the third or the 20th stitch here and i'm going to do a double crochet into that third stitch from the hook okay and the chain two that i skipped counts as a stitch so just right here i have two stitches already i have my chain two as a uh, double crochet and then i have the double crochet i just did and then i'm just gonna go ahead and work into the next stitch and do another double crochet okay so in my actual project i do 80 plus two so i do 82 chains and then i work myself by i skip the first two stitches and then i work myself down the chain by doing the double crochets okay so i do this all the way to the end of my 80 chains and then i come back so i will complete whatever i have left out of these 20 chains here when i have that uh, done i'm gonna come back to show you how to do the second row then i'll show you guys how to do the third and fourth row and then i will have you guys continue that because it's a build up from that repeat okay so let me go ahead and finish these two here and then come back and show you guys how to do the next row okay my lovelies so i have completed the first row here of the double crochet just right down the foundation chain and this is what it looks like so i end up with 21 uh, stitches here 21 stitches just means that the first stitch that i did counts as a double crochet so it makes it 21 as opposed to the 20 and for my actual work i did 80 and then i skipped the two chains so it's actually 81 chains or stitches all together for my actual project okay so that's going to be whatever length yours is uh, and make sure you're counting that uh, that uh, stitch as well for the second row we're going to do a, a chain two like this and turn and then we're going to work into not this stitch here that is connected to our chain two but the next one because that does the chain two counts as a stitch so we're going to go into the one right after that and do our double crochet just like this okay and then we're going to go ahead and do another double crochet and then we're going to do double crochets all the way to the end of this row and when you get to the end of this row please come back and i will show you how to start the next row and then that's going to be the repeat row what i'm doing right now and the next row is going to be the two repeat rows all the way until we come to a point of maybe reducing a little bit okay but for now go all the way to the end and don't forget the chain two at the end here counts as a stitch so make sure you do your final double crochet on top of the chain two okay so go ahead and do that i will meet you guys at the end okay my lovelies so i have gone all the way to the end of my second row and as you can see here i did my final double crochet on top of the chain two here because that does count as a stitch as well so i continue to have a chain um uh, 21 stitches here and this is consistently how many stitches you will have whatever you had here so for my actual work i had 81 and i continue to constantly had 81 stitches all throughout the project okay all right so for this next part we're going to uh, create the mesh so we're going to do a chain of six so one two three four five six okay and then i'm going to turn my work and then i'm going to skip two stitches again these the stitch where that is connected to our chain six doesn't it's not it's not a stitch we're counting because it's attached to that we're going to count this stitch and this stitch and those are the two we're skipping and in the third one here we're going to do a treble crochet so for treble crochet we yarn over once we yarn over again then we go into the stitch we grab our yarn and bring it back we yarn over we go through the first two loops we yarn over again we go through the next two loops and then we yarn over and we go through the final two loops okay so that's our treble crochet and then we chain two so one two and then we count three stitches that we're skipping so one two and the third one we do a treble crochet so again this is our treble we go in there we come back we go through the first two loops through the second two loops and through the three uh, the remaining two loops okay so that's the mesh that we're creating then again we chain two then we skip one two and the third we do our treble crochet okay and again make sure you're holding your stitches very nice and steady so that they're not looking a little bit off or not being uniform because you want them to be nice and equal okay 
and one of the reason we're using a hook that is this small is because we are working with a small size yarn but if you wanted to do this with a little bit of a bigger hook then it will create very loose stitches but that's pretty much what you do here and i'm about to go to the end so i can show you how to start the next row and then i will have you guys build up the work and as you can see here i have one two and this is technically where i would be working my next treble crochet but i can't because it means i have one stitch left and this is going to happen with all of your projects unless at the end you have an even number of stitches but because i have an odd number of stitches this is what's going to happen i'm going to skip one two three and on top of the chain two is where i'm going to do my treble crochet and that's not a problem at all it's not going to make a big difference as you can see here it's not creating too much of a big gap so it's going to look like that okay and then i'm going to chain uh, two so one two for the next row and turn and in this gap here where i had my chain to, uh, two chain two i'm going to do two double crochets into that gap so one and two okay and keep in mind your chain two counts as a stitch so all together here you have three double crochets Okay, and then you're going to do a double crochet on top of the treble crochet. So just right in here, you do your double crochet like that. Okay, and then you go into the gap and do two more double crochets. So one and two like that. And then you go and do a double crochet on top of the treble crochet from the previous row. And then two double crochets into the chain two gap like that and then a double crochet on top of the treble crochet from the previous row and then a double crochet and a double crochet in that chain two gap so two of them there so you should have something that looks like this and then again treble crochet uh, sorry a double crochet on top of the treble crochet and then two double crochets in the chain two gap then a double crochet on top of the treble crochet and then two double crochets in the final gap okay but then we do one more double crochet to be able to match this side here as you can see our chain two counts as a as a as a double crochet so we're going to count up one two three in the fourth we're going to do a double crochet into that stitch like this so that's how we should look like and we're matching this side and you should have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen okay so for this row here you're now down to 19 stitches and that's no problem at all with that is because we did some skipping of more than one on one of the sides here so that's not a problem for you to have this number of stitches. But what's more important is that you're making sure there's two double crochets in each of the gaps. And then there's each, uh, each of the treble crochets have a double crochet on top of it. Okay. And then you're going to chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then turn your work. And then again, what we did earlier, we're going to count out one, two, three. In that third stitch we're going to do a treble crochet because we're skipping two stitches okay then we're chaining two and by the way the chain six the first four double uh, the first four um the first four stitches uh chains counts as a treble crochet and then the next two are the chain two that we're doing so that's why we do six chains there then you skip one, two in the third, you do your treble crochet, chain two, treble crochet in the third stitch, chain two, treble crochet in the third stitch, chain two, and treble crochet in the third stitch, chain two, 
and there's three here so this is one stitch one stitch and the last one is the chain two so we're going to do a treble crochet in that final chain two just like this let's do that again just like that okay so at this point you should have something that looks like this okay and of course with this being a full panel this work will be a lot longer than this it's just this small because i'm only showing you a sample so you're going to repeat this with your actual work not the sample unless you're practicing on the sample but you're going to repeat this so this is supposed to be a, of course a long cover-up okay a cover a bikini cover-up so it's gonna go all the way from your ankles all the way up so you're gonna measure how far that is from your ankles to right underneath your underneath your bust and that length is what you work this until and when you get to that you should end up with a, this uh, treble crochet uh, uh, row when you have that come back we just need to do a little bit of a reduction at the end so that it's not it doesn't continue to be a square uh, um it doesn't continue to be a square shape like this it's gonna have a little bit of a coming in a little bit like this so do that until this length goes from your your ankles to your bust right below your bust and then come back and i'll show you how to do just one row of reduction and then we will finish off there um, and we will work on the rest of it until we have the panel completed okay see you guys in a bit okay my lovelies so i have worked up my actual panel here all the way to a length that is from my ankles all the way to just underneath my bust and this is what i have it's about 40 inches long because it's a very very long bikini cover-up as you can see here so it's very long this is so far 40 inches long and I'm, of course we have a little bit more to go from underneath my underneath my bust all the way to the top where we're gonna end it which is just right um um, by my collarbone okay so we still have a good uh eight six to eight inches to go okay so now that we have this i'm going to show you guys how to reduce for this upcoming row and then we're gonna work the rest the rest of the rows just the same as we have been so i'm just gonna redo this final here final stitch here because it came off so i did my chain two already and then i'm going to do a treble crochet for that final stitch like that okay so like i said we needed to finish on the treble crochets uh row like that and then so now for this reduction row i am going to do my regular chain two and turn and so this is the row of just double crochets but we're going to do something a little bit different so we are supposed to be doing two double crochets in this hole in this gap here but what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do one then I'm going to go right into doing a double crochet on top of that treble crochet. Then I'm going to do one in the chain two gap. Then go right to doing one on top of the treble crochet. Then do one in the chain two gap. Then do a double crochet on top of the treble crochet. So you can get the gist here. It's pretty much going to be this working like this all the way to the end of this row. And this is going to help us reduce this top part of the cover up to come in a little bit so that it's not going straight up uh, in just like a straight shape. So do this pattern all the way to the end. When you have reached the end, come back and then I will pretty much just kind of talk a little bit about how we go back to doing this the, the normal way we've been doing it. OK, but for now, do this alternation where you just do one double crochet in the chain two gaps as opposed to two double crochets. And I will see you guys in a bit. Okay, my lovelies. So I have gone ahead and completed this row of reduction. So we have reduced in this row here. It's not showing quite yet that it's going to start to go inwards a little bit, but just not too much. But that doesn't, uh, it's not a big deal. It's going to start to look like that as you work your next couple of rows. So again, for this row is the row of the treble crochet. So we just do our chain six. So two, three, four, five, six. So nothing changes here at all. And nothing changes for the next couple of rows and then again you skip your three uh, two stitches so one two and this third one you do your treble crochet okay so nothing changes here and then you chain two you do your treble crochet in the third stitch so one two three chain two you do your treble crochet in the third stitch and again you continue this just like we have been doing all the way to the end 
and then when you finish this row you're going to chain two and start your row of doing the double crochets and you go back to doing two double crochets in the gaps here so no longer the one that we did in the previous row but two and you continue to build that up for the rest of this and again like i said it goes from just right beneath your bust to just right on your collarbone okay when you have had that length completed come back and we will go ahead and uh talk about how it looks but make sure you're finishing in a row of the double double crochet row so this row is where you should be finishing it on not with um not with the treble crochet row and also make sure you do two uh, uh of of them so like we did at the beginning we started by doing two double crochets at the beginning we're gonna finish the project by doing two double crochets at the very last part of it okay so go ahead and work the rest of your project and then come back when you have completed all of it and then we will go ahead and talk about the second panel see you guys in a bit okay so i've gone ahead and completed the remainder of the rows after we did the reduction here um so as you can see this is pretty much the row where we did the reductions and then the rest of the project continued the same way so the reduction here caused it to go inwards like this okay so as you can see here that's pretty much how it looks and like i said as well uh to finish the final row with two rows of double crochets just like this so no matter how wide or how much more you went up you just needed to make sure you finished with the solid uh rows like this which is two double crochets uh rows as opposed to one that we've been working on for the project and that is just to match the bottom so this is where we started the project here where we started off with two rows of double crochets okay all right so with that done i'm going to show you how to do the straps here we're going to do very short straps because they're gonna it's gonna be the back panel and the front panel kind of tying up on top of your shoulders and that's how you're going to be able to um wear this uh dress okay so i'm going to show you how to do that so the short uh strap that i'm talking about we're going to do about 40 uh stitches or 40 uh chains to be able to do um our strap and that we will end up working it down with uh slip stitches to make it a little bit thicker or if you want to leave it just like as as a, as a chain then you will just do your chain 40 and then cut your uh, cut your string off and it's done okay but for now let me show you how i will do mine so we do our chain of 40 so one two three four five six Okay, so this is our chain of 40 here so it's not too long as you can see and again if you want to just leave it like this then you will cut this off here and then rejoin it on this side and then do another chain of 40 on this side so that is only if you want to leave it this thin but what i will do is i will work down with slip stitches to come and then go all the way to the other side okay so to do our slip stitches i'm just going to do one more chain here and then i'm just going to go into the next stitch uh down here and do a slip stitch just like that then we're gonna go into the next stitch grab it and do a slip stitch like that then into the next stitch and then you just continue to do this all the way until you get to the base here so do that when you reach the base come back and i will show you how to work um a, a row here and then we will go ahead and repeat that on the other side okay see you guys in a bit okay so as you can see this is the um the strap here that i've done that is a uh, very short especially after we have done our uh slip stitches going down it so i did 40 but right now it looks more like it would be a 20 so it's almost cut it cuts the size and a half so just keep that in mind if you do want your strap to be a lot longer then you need to do more um uh, chains at the beginning so as you can see this is how it ends here that's my final stitch so i'm just going to pivot my work a little bit like this so i can work single crochets across to the other side so i can do the second strap so what i mean by that is i just go right into the next stitch here and then i just do a single crochet okay and then i go into the next stitch i do a single crochet and i go into the next stitch and i do a single crochet and then i continue this all the way until i get to the final stitch on the other side where i will then do a chain of 40 again plus one for the turning chain and then do my slip stitches coming back down so this is how it looks like here as you can see okay so this is our strap and then this is the the part that will go right uh on the base of our neck so go ahead and repeat this when you have completed the strap on the other side which means you do a chain of 40 and then you work your slip stitches right back down so right here 
so you do your very final uh single crochet right here like this and then you start your chain 40 and then you work down the slip stitches so that it's like this when you come back to the base of it like this uh, like we just did now come back to the video i'll show you how to end that off and then we will work on how we end up joining the two panels after we have done the second panel exactly the same okay so i will see you guys in okay a bit. so i have completed the slip stitches on the second strap here so as you can see this is the side that we did and then i did my single crochets across here and then now i'm back on this side so i did a chain 40 and then worked my slip stitches back down so that's what you have and now i have just done my very last slip stitch over there and for us to make sure it's going to look nice and neat, we're going to just turn it a little bit like this. And then we're going to do a single crochet in that, a slip stitch. So we're going to do a slip stitch in that stitch like this, okay? And then we're going to take our scissors and cut the yarn somewhere there. And then we're going to do one more slip stitch just to kind of uh, lock these in here, okay? So we're going to have this section like this. We can weave these out of there later. Um, but this is pretty much how the top is going to look like okay so this is gonna this is uh, for either the back or the front panel but either way these are going to tie to the other panels uh thing like this so this is pretty much the end of it of the panel as you can see it's very long it goes all the way down to my ankles okay so it starts over here and then it just kind of works itself all the way up to the neckline here okay so what you are gonna do at this moment is you're going to pause the video here you can either go back and uh, rewind the video to the beginning and start the second panel but you're repeating the exact same thing and just completing the exact same copy uh, like this so that we can have the two panels that we can then join together okay so go ahead and do that when you have your second panel completed come back and i will do the same and we will work on then joining the two panels when we have it okay see you guys in a bit okay my lovelies so i have completed my second panel here as well so we have our two panels completed this is the first one that we did earlier and this is the second one and so with that done i'm just gonna bring the first one that i did here because i've done some measurements on it on where i want to uh, do the armholes so as you can see i put a stitch marker on this uh, section here okay so all I did was I just took a panel and I lined it up on my body on the front of my body from the neck or let's say from the collarbone to where I want it to start to to be solidified okay so this is where my arms are going to come out right here so this is pretty much my bust section of my body right here this from here to here covers my breast and then this here is just pretty much the sides of my armpits. And then what we're going to do then is I'm going to line it up with my second panel. Okay, so the second panel is going to go pretty much kind of like this. Okay, so obviously I am working on a small table here, so I cannot line everything up pretty, pretty well. But anyways, you're going to line it up like this. You're going to count your stitches and make sure you're putting the stitch marker on the exact same stitch that we're going to be joining it on. So I'm going to do mine just right here. And then what we will do is I will pretty much join my panel from where my stitch marker is all the way down. Let's say... And this is going to be a choice for you. So you can either do it all the way down to the bottom so that it's just a, a nice uh, full uh, so, solid on, on, each, on both sides. You can do it on just one side so one side can have a slit. So if you want, then you kind of figure out where you want your slit to be. And then join the rest of it. So join from the stitch marker to where you want your sl uh, slit to start. And you can do this for both sides. Or you can do one solid on one side and then leave a slit on another. So that is all up to you. I haven't decided yet. So you will know um, at the end of this video which one I chose to do. Just because I like to do it and then try it on. And then whichever one that I prefer to do is the one, the one I'm going to go for. But for now, I'm going to have two slits on both sides just to start with. I'm going to see where I want to have a slit. Then I'll try my uh, dress on. And then if I see that it looks okay with having the two slits, uh, then I will keep it like that. If I find that maybe it will be nice if I just shut down one side completely, then I will do that. Or if I find that it's better to do both sides, then I will just do that. So this is absolutely up to you. But you're going to pretty much take your uh, darning needle. 
okay you're gonna take whatever leftover uh, yarn for the same color and you're just gonna join your work go all the way and if you're trying to do two slits on each side then make sure you're starting where the stitch marker is and go down to where the stitch marker will be for where you want to leave your slit and then repeat that on the other side i'm gonna do the same and there's nothing too difficult here so when you line your stitches very well they should be exactly uniform you're just going to join your work pretty much like just gonna go 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 and where the uh the uh the uh tre treble crochet is try to not go in the hole like this try to go in the spaces like this so go in into these sections like this and then skip, pick up the next stitch like this and continue to do that so i'm gonna do the same when i have it done i will come back on the video to show you guys how it looks like okay so you guys in okay my lovelies so i have gone ahead and joined my dress on both sides so um i pretty much started where i think was going to be a good place to start so earlier on i think i had you guys um uh with thinking that i was going to do it from here and this was going to be the open open section but of course it did not make sense at all i had to try it on and i realized this gap here was way too big and loose so it makes more sense that i moved it up to the corner where these uh the work started to reduce this way so this is my armhole right here okay with of course the straps tying up here and on the other side i do the exact same thing which is i match the stitches exactly the same and i do the same on this side as well so this is where i actually start closing it up and then it opens up on this section here okay in terms of the sides so as you can see this is the joining going all the way down here and in terms of the sides i decided to leave a slit on each side that is this long about 10 inches or something like that this long just because it's nice when i tried it on it looks nice to have this opening here that kind of have um, a slit on both sides so i match it up again and i have that running down on both sides so again like i said this is up to you you can seal it completely on both sides or you can have it on one side is sealed and on the other side it has a slit that is absolutely up to you okay so with everything a hundred percent joined here nothing else i also went ahead and weaved in all the uh the strings that were uh, remaining um so obviously you will do the same as well and what i usually do at this moment here so as you can see it's not very visible where we joined the work but you do kind of see it a little bit here protruding upwards so what i do at this moment is i usually end up turning my work inside out just flipping it inside out like this because the other side is going to be the clean side and also after weaving in my ends there's a little bit of spots that has a little bit of a, a lump here and a lump there and with uh with uh, flipping it inside out like this it makes it so that the side that you did not work on is going to be the clean side okay so this is pretty much the end of the project here i hope you guys had a lot 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 of fun like i did making this i love this dress so much i tried it on if you have anything that is a popping color on the inside so let's say you have a really bright uh bikini uh top and bottom and you put these on or you have something that is just like kind of like that that is going to pop this color up i know this gray color is not the best color out there but uh if you if you put anything that is very contrasting on the inside of this it looks absolutely beautiful i tried it on with a red bikini and it looks so nice but i found that any bright colors white uh or very bright red or pink or anything like that pops really really well uh out of the this very meshy uh, bikini cover dress okay so this is pretty much it here uh thank you so much you guys uh i've been getting a lot of comments about making more bikini uh covers so this is obviously going to be uh multiples that i'm gonna be making i'll be making small ones long ones short ones um uh, i said short already uh loose ones tight ones anything that you guys want and of course i'll do more bikini bottoms and tops as well because with summer coming up everybody is starting to get their gears ready uh for the season okay all right so this is pretty much it here thank you so much again and don't forget to subscribe and comment and don't forget to share the video with anyone who may be looking to make uh this kind of stuff and i will see you guys in the next one bye